Hey folks, Mad Dog and Merrill's Midwest Grilling here. I'm Mad Dog, and while Merrill, he's out playing around to golf, but we'll catch up with him in just a moment or two. We're at the Menominee Cultural Museum, and today we're gonna take a little step back in time. The rich culture, history, and traditional foods of the Native American tribes of Wisconsin. We're talking wild game, fish, wild rice, maple syrup, fruits, vegetables, nuts, and currants. Uh, there are 11 tribes of Wisconsin, all with their own unique culture and tradition. You can go online at natal.org, that's Native American tribes of Wisconsin, and they would love to share their history and culture. Now they have several special events, powwows, museums you can get to, and more. That's natal.org. Org. We'll be right back with more of Mad Dog and Merrill's Midwest Grilling right after this. Mad Dog and Merrill's Midwest Grilling is brought to you by Modern Home Products, the makers of MHP, Phoenix, and Profire Grills. All natural golden plump chicken, Minnesota and Wisconsin raised. It's golden good. Cherry Delight, a Door County original. Crisp Kraut, the world's finest sauerkraut, proudly produced in Wisconsin for over a century. Fat Louise Olive Oil and Door Peninsula Winery. Experience the flavor of Door Peninsula Winery. All right, well, welcome back to Mad Dog and Merrill's Midwest Grilling. I'll tell you what, the golfers are out. How was yes. golfing, Merrill? Well, I better stick to grilling, I think, to be <laughs> honest you with better. you. I'll just brush away here. Well, I, I appreciate you not going another round of golfing. We actually have the good folks at Natal. They're out golfing right now. We're going to do some wonderful Native American uh, grilling, uh, Wisconsin Native American grilling. I'm going to let you start with your bison. Oh, yeah, yeah we've got bison. Bison's very good. It's really nice and lean. It's something back... In the days, I don't want to say in the days, but you know, they did a lot of wild game. They a lot did. of people are not used to really doing wild game or how do you do wild game, but it'll show exactly how they done it. Now I've got actually, I'm doing bison today. I've got a tenderloin. But that could be elk, could be venison, and they're all lean cuts of meat. Right, right, exactly. And then we could also, we've got a New York strip, and we got a ribeye. Absolutely. Okay, now this meat, as you see, is very, very the lean. The ribeye's mine. No. <laughs> hey, no, it's not. All right. It's very lean. Here I've got some cornmeal, and I've actually got some hickory nuts. You can use any type of nuts that you want to. Ground hickory nuts? But a lot of people do not realize that you could go ahead and place this on here and grill it direct on the grill. So I'm going to mix this up together. And I don't think I'll need that much on the on the cornmeal. I'm going to go a little bit well, lighter. Well, you know, I might add some to my salmon, but I don't think so. Yeah, okay, all right. Now you can season this. I've got a little bit of uh, sodium here. You can use any type of seasoning that you like. But uh, I'm going to put a little bit on that. Now what's really going to nice is it's going to sort of put a nice crust on that. Don't worry, you're not going to burn it at all whatsoever. But I'm going to pour a little oil on here. It works they're they're cuts of meat. They're lean. Yeah, and you definitely need to do that. Well, I'm actually on both sides of thank yeah. you. Yeah. do that. The other ones, that would be yep. great. Well, oh, you're doing good. Were you ever a flipper, huh? Yeah, yeah, Look yeah. At yeah. Look at that. Get that one too now. Okay. I'll flip okay. them too much. Okay, there we go. Here All right. So we got them. We got them oiled. And then I'm just going to place the breading on there. Now you can actually even let them sit for a little while, but we're going to go ahead and place ours right on. But That's going to be that cornmeal is going to be unusual with the with the ground nut mixture together. Yeah. That's going to be phenomenal. You know, and it gives it a really nice crunch. You know, for you people at home that aren't going to use the cornmeal or the nuts, you know, flour will do good. You know, we've done the Sicilian steaks before, that type of thing. But this, what I like about it is actually the crunch with the nuts on there. Sounds pretty good, the crunch with the nuts. Absolutely. Okay, so I'm going to finish breading this up, and then we'll go ahead and put that on the on the grill. Cook a direct method of grilling. Uh, when you're, Especially when you're doing bison, you want to go very, cook it very fast in a way, or very slow, but you don't want to overcook it. People have a tendency to really cook overcooked bison. All right, I'm all set, sir. Sounds good. Why don't you take those over? Let's take them over, toss them on right, the grill. Should we do good. that? Yeah, let's do that. I'll sit right in there, okay? Absolutely. Come on, I'll okay, go with you. Good, 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 good. Which the grill, grill is fired there? up on a nice high heat. Hopefully yep. not too high of a heat. Oh, looking right, we'll good. We'll be fine. We'll be fine. We're just going to toss those on there. You're going to sear those up a little bit on right. both sides and turn them down? Yep, exactly. Matter of fact, I might even go ahead, sear them up. I got both burners on. I'm going to sear them up, and then I'm going to put them, shift them over to one side and shut off the heat on that side at an indirect method of grilling. Well, okay, one, of the great, one of the great staples uh, during, uh, uh, in, in Wisconsin uh, during the, uh, the Native American uh, is, is great fish. That's one of their staples. They, uh -huh. all, they, uh, they have beautiful salmon. They have some walleye we're going to be doing. We're going to show you how to do frog legs in a minute. Oh, I love frog legs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And before I do this, I think what I'm going to do is back up a little bit. We're going we're gonna to do a couple things here. We're going to actually make a wild rice stuffing. Wild rice was a, was a staple, whether, whether it was from the river or the lake. All the 11 tribes of Wisconsin had wild rice. Okay. They harvested the wild rice. Sure. They actually, during the, the August period of time, they went and they thrashed yeah. the grains.
along the river, along the lake. They thrashed the grains, and then they, they took it by the water side, and that's where they laid it out and they cleaned it. Oh, really? they, they took the caterpillars, the bugs, the stems off it, off the off the nice little uh, uh, stems off the, uh, the. These actually had a nice little husk over the top of them. Okay. So that's the grains the pure grains of wild rice. They had a husk over the top of them that long, and they cleaned everything off, and then they took that back to camp, and they actually did a couple things. They started a small fire, they took a kettle, they put those the, the, the husked wild rice in that kettle, portion by portion. Right. They took a paddle like this, and it's called parching. And they actually rolled it in that kettle near the fire so it wouldn't scorch, and if they let it go too far, it actually popped like popcorn. No matter what, small, I never thought Small of that. little kernels, but it was parched. And then they took that and they did something called, uh, uh, they called it the, the dancing, dancing the rice. Dancing the rice? Dancing the rice. And they actually took a nice little tarp and they, they laid the, the, the parched rice over the top of that. They had moccasins on and they would dance over the top lightly and that would break away the husks a tad bit. Things you learn on this and show. Then, and then they did something called winnowing. And winnowing is when they put it in a basket then after that and they threw it up against the wind and all the husks would fall off and they got to the pure rice. So we're gonna actually gonna take our wild rice, we're gonna take uh, one of their staples, those beans, nuts, and currants, and we're gonna mix those all together into a nice little wild rice stuffing. And we're gonna use this throughout our show here today. But I'm gonna show you how to do a stuffed salmon right now. Okay. Here's a nice slab of salmon. Uh, we've done it with walleye, it's a little more delicate to do. But we're gonna take that slab of salmon, and I, it's gonna be hard to show. Why don't you grab this out of the way? Right, get out of the way, I'll move it over here, sir. And I'm actually gonna take a, a knife, and along the skin with a nice filleting knife, I'm gonna make a neat little pocket. Ah, okay. And we're gonna keep that pocket going as far as I can. I think one more little scoots and I'll be fine. We don't wanna cut up into it. And we're gonna take our wild rice stuffing that we just created, and we're gonna add that into the side of our salmon, and then we're gonna glisten it with the oil. That's gonna come out delicious. It's gonna be like absolutely it. delicious. Now I'm gonna set the grill for medium direct heat. We have the beautiful wild rice stuffing on the inside. We're gonna place this on the grill. We're gonna go over here. All right. I don't believe the Native Americans had gas grills, but we're using <laughs> gas grills here today. We're gonna to put this on our, our grill, a nice medium direct heat, and when the natural juices, we talked about salmon before, when the natural juices start to bead to the top, that's when that salmon is done. I'm gonna have to be cautious to make sure everything heats on the inside, but I think we're gonna be just fine. I think so. And we'll, we'll get to that in a minute or two. We're gonna do some glazes for both items with maple syrup and apple right. and applesauce and some other wonderful stuff. But here's another little, and I, I saw these in the store, and I said, Native Americans had to do frog legs. I love frog legs. So I actually took some wonderful frog legs. I put a little oil and some fresh sage over the top. And we're gonna put those on the grill and put a glaze on those in just a minute or two also. I like it. So a nice medium low heat. Frog legs are delicious. So we have the salmon, we have your bison on the grill. We're gonna be right back, create some glazes. We got uh, 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 Indian bread to do. We're gonna eat well and today. We got, and the three sisters are here. The three sisters? Yep, they're right, right the next three, door. We'll go the, get them the in a minute. The three stooges, the three sisters? Three sisters, we'll be right back with three the three sisters. sisters. The three sisters? Yep. Mad Dog and Merrill's Midwest Grillin' is brought to you in part by Door County Distillery, distilling the spirit of Door County. Welcome back to Mad Dog, Mad Dog and Merrill's and Kirby's right. Midwest Grilling. Kirby, thanks so much for joining us. We do appreciate it. Kirby Metoxen. Thank yeah. you, sir. From the Oneida Nation. From the Oneida Nation. And, and uh, I'll tell you what, we are at Pine Hills uh, a Golf Course at Stockbridge, Muncie, uh, Natal, you have your 12th conference. The 12th Annual Native American Tourism of Wisconsin Conference, Gulf Outing today. Yeah, and it's a wonderful time, we appreciate it. And one of the things that we're here to promote is everything that we're creating up here, the beautiful bison that we did, the three sisters we're gonna talk about, the salmon, the fried bread we're gonna do, that people can look on a on, uh, uh, website at natal.org and learn throughout the whole state of Wisconsin different events, whether it's right. powwows, whether it's their museums, whether it's harvest fests, that people who the public can attend uh, and, and go to all these events and actually taste Native Pro American cuisine. Better than uh, what we're <laughs> doing, better than what us white guys are doing here today, <laughs> right, right exactly. Kirby? Hey, real quick, Meryl's gonna do a nice little finishing glaze hey, finishing for our glaze bison for the and salmon. salmon. All right, I got some of regular applesauce in there, which you would. 
a little bit of maple syrup, which I like using maple syrup on anything. And you can do this just to adjust to your taste. And of course, we've got some hickory nuts here, ground hickory nuts. I'm going to place that in there and mix this all up and what use this. Nuts? Hickory, oh, sir. Okay. Hickory, 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 hickory. Hickory, hickory, doc. We got hickory nuts. <laughs> All right, mix and, it and all you know, around. And, uh, and one of the things that I'll be doing right now is uh, the Native Americans, and not all the tribes called it the Three Sisters, oh. but, but, it, but the, they grew corn, uh, uh, they grew corn which grew tall to the sun, and the beans then were able to, down below, planted next to them so they could spiral themselves up the like corn stuff. Like a trellis. And it actually added nitrogen back to the soils to help the corn. Wow, you did good in school. And then, and then the squash was planted to protect and keep the weeds and everything else from going towards it. So the squash, then the, these are the three sisters. We have the beans, we have the corn, we have the squash. A couple of things we can do, whether it's summer squash, like the yellow one, we can take and hollow. Merrill thought these were canoes. Oh, I thought they were. Uh, Merrill thought I didn't they know were. how you could get in those. We're Kirby. actually going to take some of our, our wonderful shoes. stuffing. <laughs> we're going to take some of our wonderful stuffing and add that to our zucchini. And, but here's a great way to do it. We took our, our acorn squash, and right back here, if I'm not mistaken, we took some of the three sisters, and we took some wild rice, we stuffed our squash with the beautiful corn that we took off the cob. We have the beans in here, we have the wonderful different types of squash. The salmon, Kirby, we know is done because it's beaded to the white. That's the natural proteins. What being are put. these little things? Frog legs. You guys had, <laughs> yeah. you, got, you had to have done frog legs, didn't you, Kirby? <laughs> and then over here, uh, wonderful things is uh, wild mushrooms. Of course, we took some nice portabellas, uh, but there's wonderful morels and other mushrooms that grow in Wisconsin uh, that were used by the Native Americans. Uh, so we took some portabellas, we browned those up, we took some wonderful wild stuffings, and we put those inside. A little game hen here that we stuffed with our wild rice stuffing also. I thought it was a chicken. No, that's a little, that's a game hen. <laughs> that could be pheasant or quail. I wasn't <laughs> sure when I shot it. <laughs> but, but, and then our beautiful bison that we did. Let's put that little finishing sauce on the bison and see what we have. All right, sounds good. That's sounds a wonderful good. bison. That's hey, we're a, getting an audience. That's actually from the Oneida oh. tribe is this bison. Really? Yes, it is. Yeah. The and Oneida so Buffalo good. Farm. The Oneida Buffalo Farm, thank you very much. There and don't go, forget, sir. people can go on nato.org, nato.org, and learn more great ideas and places to go throughout the summertime. Go for beautiful. it. Beautiful. This is the beautiful Buffalo Bison. And it's oh, done to perfection. Perfect. A nice little pink on the inside. <laughs> mm, Isn't that delicious? That. And bison, it's heart healthy for you. It lowers your cholesterol. It's low in fat. That's something I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> Don't try to match my cholesterol with my weight. I think we should lead this segment with one of those awe shots and we all take a pee, uh, bite right. of bison. How's okay, that? Okay, sounds good. Kirby, you ready for this? Sure, come on, yeah. go grab for it. Grab your people. Right. Grab your people. Grab your people. You don't have to, you don't have to say ah. <laughs> mm. Oh, man. Mm. Wow. That is absolutely delicious. Good. Mm -hmm. Where'd you just go? <laughs> I Boy, it already. We'll be right back with more Mad Dog and Merrill and Kirby's. Yeah. Midwest grilling in just a moment. We got some fried bread to do. Do you want to see my fried bread in a minute? Yeah, sure. Oh, it's yeah, not quite it the way that the natives do it, I found out. Is that like buns? That is almost, exactly. We're going to do some sweet breads with it. <laughs> okay. Thanks, Kirby. <laughs> Mad Dog and Merrill's Midwest grilling is brought to you by All Natural Golden Plump Chicken, Minnesota and Wisconsin raised. It's golden good. Hey, welcome back to Midwest Grilling with Mad Dog and Merrill. We're having a wonderful time. Hey, we just got doing some fried bread. Mad Dog, you got a little fried bread back there, Absolutely. sir? Absolutely. I'll tell you what, Merrill fried up the fried bread in the cast iron skillet. Now, now the uh, you, it's the first time, and I actually did some nice fried bread. Yes, you did. Yeah, but it's actually the first time that I've created fried bread, and it's a, it's a reproduction <laughs> of what, what Native Americans of Wisconsin would do. Yes. And every reproduction is not exactly to tea, nor is my fried bread, I've been found out. Well, I like how I explain that, that being a reproduction, but you did a good job if it's the first time. Well, you know, and, 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 and fried bread is a, is a staple, and I mean, it's hard. It was a good filler to have at probably most every meals. And, and they had to, first of all, they had to either do a, uh, a grind the flours, the grains, whether it was with a rolling pin, with a mortar and pet stove, okay. or uh, later on they had the, the big milling wheels. Oh yeah. The stone wheels that they had, and th those would grind the, the grains to make the wheat, to make the flours that they can make the, the fry bread with. But this is my, it's, it's not the best in the world, but 
Why don't, you, why don't you do a little, maybe a sweetened well, bread with it, okay? I know, and we've came a long way, you know, really actually since then. But I'm just going to brush, or I'm not going to put it on, but we've got some maple syrup, okay? Because this will soak up really good, make it really nice and sweet. Now Kirby will want yeah, some of that. Yeah, you better believe it, I want that. <laughs> Let that absorb in there a little bit. And then, a little bit of currants, because I'm always current. Yep, nice right. dried currants. Little currants. And a little bit of walnuts this time on there. How's that? Sorry. Sounds good. And you, know, and you know what, what I found out is that obviously fresh berries when in season were used. So I'm sure they must have served fresh berries with their fried bread, if I'm not mistaken. I would assume so, whether it's raspberries, whether it's blueberries or wonderful fresh strawberries. So we'll add some nice berries there. Yeah. But I thought of another great idea because there's a lot of great apple orchards. And I'll tell you what, one of the best times we've had when, as our daughter was growing up, our daughter Sage was growing up, whenever there was a powwow, whenever there was a, an event that the Native Americans throughout Wisconsin put on, uh, we tried to we tried to go to it. It was it, it was a great culture, it was great history. The publics are always invited. That's one of the things that NATO does in the conference here is to make sure that you, you and I, yeah, and, and yeah. our families are invited, and then go at, uh, on NATO.org, N-A-T-O-W.org, to learn all the great events. You know, another great website is TravelWisconsin.com, it is, yep. and, and of course, Discover Wisconsin. Uh, you can go on and learn different events that happen throughout the year, the course of the year, that all the public is invited. Now, here's a great way to do some wonderful apples. I, I got my knife here. We have some wonderful little Macintosh, and I'm just going to sit and I'm going to put those in quarters, and I'm going to take the core out. And all I did last night was I drizzled some maple syrup oh. over the top. And another one of Kirby's favorite is, yes. some, is some dried nuts, dried walnuts. And I actually took that and I, I maple syrup those apple wedges all night long. And then we put them directly on the grates of the grill. And let me grab my spatula okay. here. And my idea for fried bread today would be to take some wonderful apple wedges I did and put those on the fried bread. And I bet you that would be just absolutely wonderful on top of there. So now we have several different ways to do fried bread. A lot of the great uh, Native American events that happen throughout Wisconsin, they have fried breads. Sure. And I love them. And they, make, they make the tacos with them and things like that. They're just delicious. Now here's our salmon that we did. I'm going to let you help me with the okay, salmon. See if we can't serve. bring that baby over. The salmon, remember, we, we glistened it with an oil. We stuffed it a little bit. And, we, and we, we're going to take our spatula and we're just going to work between the skin and the meats. And, and once a year, the, uh, the Native Americans have a, a ceremonial grand opening of the walleye season. It's a tradition for spearing and netting. And, and so we're going to take our salmon. We're going to pop Ooh, that good, right on top good, of there. Good, 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 good. There's the skin left right on there. We've got the salmon that we stuffed. And let's see if we can't go to camera number two. This, I can't wait to see this. I know, it's going to be just delicious. And pop that. that baby open. And there is probably one of the best salmon you'll ever have. Absolutely gorgeous. Good uh, job. Whether, it, whether it's harvesting a, a wild game, uh, of fish, uh, the beautiful breads, the, the, the vegetables that we did, they're all staples and, 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 and a need for families uh, hundreds of centuries ago, a couple of centuries ago. Uh, but today we take things for advantage. So let, let's, 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 let's enjoy some great culture, some great history. Let's enjoy it. I'm all for let's it, Let's enjoy the salmon. I know. <laughs> we'll be right back with more of Mad Dog and Merrill's Midwest Grilling in just a moment. That's delicious. Doesn't I that like look that wonderful? The beans. I really do. Yeah. Mad Dog and Merrill's Midwest Grilling is brought to you in part by Cherry Delight, a Door County original. I'm here today, and we didn't get any golfing in, but we certainly created some wonderful, uh, uh, semi-authentic, his <laughs> historical, cultural dishes of Native Americans of Wisconsin. Hey, Kirby, as I dish this up, why don't you tell us the importance of NATO? NATO is a, a platform for tribes to tell their stories, what it was like, what happened, and what it's like today, and to entice visitors to come to our reservations and, and learn about who we are, how we got here, what happened. Um, try some of our Native American cuisine, Absolutely. which uh, right. looks like you did a, a lot of gathering here. Good, good, good. <laughs> now, how, here, put that in your <laughs> mouth. There you go. <laughs> and how many tribes are in, in Natal? We have 11 tribes in Wisconsin, and we, we represent all the 11 tribes. And this is one of our annual events, the NATO, uh, Native American Tourism of Wisconsin Golf Outing. I'll and, tell you what, what's that? Go ahead. I was wondering, what is this here? 
That's a, that's our that's our our feast. That's oh. our sweetened bread. That's your that's bread. You. That's our bread. That's <laughs> our fried bread. That's exactly right. With the maple. Let's but I'll tell you what, it, folks can go online once again at natal.org and uh, learn not necessarily how to create the dishes we did here today, but the wonderful events throughout Wisconsin mm. that you can visit yourselves with yeah. your family and enjoy like I did with our family when we were younger. How's the salmon, guys? Really Very good. good. Did a good job. Mm. Happy grilling, folks. Yeah, we'll, we'll be back you. again. Mad Dog mm. in Maryland, Kirby McToxon. Join us every Sunday morning for tasty tips, tricks, and techniques on Mad Dog and Merrill's Midwest Grilling. Fire up that grill.